Purchase event is actually the most important event that you want to track on your TikTok ads manager because this is the event that is going to optimize your algorithm to track more customers who are more likely to make a purchase on your website. And the only way you can do that is to make sure that you have Google Tag Manager container configured on your website and your TikTok pixel is properly tracking all the user data such as email, phone number, as well as all the e-commerce event data such as item ID, value, currency, etc. So in this video, we are going to see how you can do that using Google Tag Manager TikTok pixel for your Shopify store. The video has been divided into five different sections. In the first section of the video, we will configure Google Tag Manager container on your Shopify pages as well as on your thank you pages. In the second section of the video, we will make sure that your TikTok pixel is properly firing on all the pages of the website. In the third section of the video, we will configure the data layer events that will push the purchase event as well as user data into the data layer. In the fourth section of the video, we will configure a tag that will push that information from your Shopify store to your TikTok pixel. And in the last section, we will make sure everything is working all right, do some test conversion and publish the Google Tag Manager container. The timestamp for the video are provided in the description below. The first thing you need to make sure your Google Tag Manager container is firing on your Shopify store is to make sure that you have head tracking script and the body tracking script from your GTM container on your Shopify store. To get those scripts, you can go over to your Google Tag Manager container and click on the container tracking ID, which is highlighted in the blue color on your dashboard. Here you are going to see two different sections. One is a head tracking script and the second one is the body tracking script. Let's just copy the head tracking script first and add that to our Shopify store. Let's head over to our Shopify store and under online store, you are going to click themes. On this action button, click on three dots and click on edit code. This will take you to the back end of your Shopify store where you can manage all the codes and all the files of your website. We are going to paste this head tracking script right below the opening head tag. And now it's time to paste the body code. So let's just get the body code from Google Tag Manager container and search for the opening body tag on our Shopify theme file. For me, it is on line number 295. So I'm going to just create some space below this and paste the body tracking script. Let's hit format code and hit save. Adding this head and body script will make sure that your Google Tag Manager container is firing on all the pages of the website. However, this will not fire on the final thank you pages. So in order to make sure that your Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the thank you pages, we need to go to the settings and checkouts. Scroll all the way down where you can find the option for order status scripts. And on this order status page, we are going to paste the head snippet for the Google Tag Manager container under the additional scripts. You don't need to paste the body snippet. However, if you want, you can still paste the code right here. Let's hit save and go back to our Google Tag Manager container to check if our GTM container is properly firing on all the pages of the website. Let's hit preview. Preview is going to open a temporary debug window which will be connected with your website once you enter your website URL right here. And all the events that you are going to do on your website that has been connected with Google Tag Manager. This preview window will help you determine what kind of tags and triggers are firing on your website. You can also see this thing on your Google Tag Manager legacy Chrome extension that will help you see if your Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the website. Once you have properly verified that, we can move over to the second section of the video where we are going to add your TikTok pixel configuration tag in Google Tag Manager. So let's head over to TikTok Ads Manager and under the tools, we are going to select events. TikTok have all of its pixel under events, whereas Facebook calls them datasets. Since Shopify is a web platform, we are going for a web events. If you already have a pixel, that's well and good. However, if you don't have a pixel, you can create one. Since we already have a demo pixel, we are going to select that. And if you will scroll down, you will find an option for add events. You can click on manual setup since we are using Google Tag Manager and we can skip all the other steps that are recommended by the pixel. Since we are not using any kind of event builder either, we don't need to focus on this screen, which tells us how we are going to define the funnel. So we can skip this and directly go to the next step. We are not dealing with server side tracking in this video. However, that tutorial will be covered later in the video. Right now we are just focusing on browser side tracking. So let's just hit that and copy the code that is provided by the TikTok ads manager. 
Let's go back to Google Tag Manager container and under the tag section we are going to create one tag that is going to fire on all the pages of the website so we can track page view events on all the pages where the user is. So let's create new and for the triggers we are going to select an add all pages event and let's create a custom HTML tag and paste the code here. Since we are going to create multiple tags such as purchase event we will be required this pixel ID so let's just copy this one first and create a variable for this one but before that let's rename the tag to custom HTML TikTok configuration tag perfect let's hit save now let's just head over to the variable section and create a user defined constant variable that will store the value of this TikTok pixel ID so let's paste it here and we can rename it as TikTok pixel ID Great, now we can go back to the tag section and edit the existing tag. This step is not necessary, however you want, you can do it. Let's paste the TikTok ID and let's hit save. Before moving on to the third section of the video, we can quickly verify if our TikTok pixel tag is properly firing on all the pages of the website. So let's just hit preview button again. And this is going to open this debug window of our store. If you have this TikTok pixel helper extension, you will see that the page view event is properly firing on the website. You can ignore these error. These are because we are using Google Tag Manager to trigger the event and we do not have this pixel directly on our Shopify store. So the page view event is firing properly. Now we can move to the third section of the video where you are going to place the cracking code for purchase event on your Shopify store. If you will head over to the description of the video, you will find a link to a blog post where you can find this code for order status script. Let's just copy this code and go back to our Shopify store so we can add this code right here. On your settings and checkouts, we are still here so we can paste this code right below the Google Tag Manager container script. Let's hit save and what this is going to do is paste the code on our final thank you page where we can track the purchase event. Since now we have added the data layer script, now we can go back to our Google Tag Manager for the final and fourth section that is creating tags, triggers and variables that will track this event. Let's head over to Google Tag Manager container and since we can do the same thing with the custom HTML tag, custom HTML tag can be a little daunting to work with. So we are going to use a template created by TikTok Pixel team for Google Tag Manager web container. To download the template, you can simply go to the template section and click on search gallery. Right now we are going to search for a tag called TikTok pixel. So let's search for that. This tag is created by the TikTok team. So let's just add this to the workspace so we can use it. Great. Let's head back to the tag section and let's create a new tag. We don't want this tag to fire on all the pages of the website. We only want this tag to fire on the custom purchase event. So let's just create a custom variable for this one. Let's create a custom event and if you will go back to the data layer script, you will see that the name of the event is custom underscore purchase. You don't have to copy the name from right here. You can also do a test purchase event and then copy the name. We will show that step in, in the fifth section of the video. So let's just copy the event name and go back to Google Tag Manager. Since we have created a trigger, the only thing we need to do is create a tag that will publish this event. So let's select the TikTok pixel tag that we just created. It requires a few things such as the pixel ID. We have stored the pixel ID into the TikTok pixel ID constant variable. So let's select this one. For the event, we want it to be complete purchase. Since we are using the default emails that has been provided by the Shopify, we can switch from encrypted one to the plain custom HTML emails. All the user data is under the user data variable. So let's just create some data layer variable so we can extract the email, phone number and other variables. Let's just extract the email first. So email is under user underscore data dot email. Let's rename this variable to DLV user data dot email. <clears throat> and for the phone number, we can do the same thing. It's user data underscore phone. Since we have added the email and the phone number for the user, now we need to make sure that it is tracking all the event data. However, since we are using the Google Analytics for event parameter structure, we don't need to define all of these things manually. We can just select the option for used GA4 data layer system. The only variable we need to define is the currency one and we can define that currency variable under e-commerce.currency parameter for the data layer. So let's quickly do that and let's rename the variable to DLV e-commerce.currency. So now let's hit save. Perfect. Now we have this event configured 
and now let's rename this tag to custom event purchase now in this final section of the video we are just going to test and make sure everything is working all right the data is sent for the purchase event back to the tiktok pixel so let's just hit preview on our google tag manager container so the debug window is connected with our shopify store again and now let's just go back to the store and add some product to the cart since i already have some items in the cart i'm just going to the checkout section directly from this one since this is a demo store i do have the privilege of using a bogus payment card however you can use a 100% coupon code to test this thing let's create a test user test.com and let's fill out all the test details and for the bogus card i am going to use one for the security code we will select 1234 and the name of the bogus card is bogus card Let's hit pay now. Now we are successfully redirected to the final thank you page. We can go back to our debug window to see the custom purchase event has successfully fired. The name of the event that we have for the custom purchase event in the uh, trigger section, this one, it is coming directly from this debug window event. We also have all the other details such as transaction ID, value, and all the other shipping details of the product. We can go back to the thank you page and if you will click on this TikTok pixel helper window, you can see that the complete purchase event is firing properly it has all the content details and value and currency parameter the error that it is showing that multiple event has been triggered on the same page it is because we have triggered purchase event as well as the view page view event the updated script will also publish all the user information under this user data event where you have email address uh, phone number if the user has provided that user id and all the other details if you want to push this information to any other ads platform now we have confirmed everything is working all right the purchase event is working and the user data is also working all right we can publish these changes in our google tag manager container so they don't stay in the draft mode and they are finally published on the website now we are successfully tracking all the e-commerce events such as purchase event and in the playlist you will find all the other events related to view content add to cart initiate checkout etc in the next video, we are going to see how we can configure view cart event for our TikTok pixel that can help us see how many users are actually viewing the cart.